this is Furry Marie 7 and I'm going to show you how to kill Vort of the Boreal Valley in the High Wall of Lothric using the sorcery method. Now before you actually start on the boss, there's a few things you should probably do first. First you should make sure that you unlock the elevator. The elevator uh, goes, uh, creates a shortcut all the way up to the first bonfire of the game. And if you're crafty, you can actually get from the first bonfire to the elevator by running past all the enemies, and uh, it create it makes it a lot easier to get to the boss room from there. Now, the other thing you should do, if you haven't already done so, I would highly suggest that you bring along a cleric's sacred chime. Uh, this thing uh, it has the ability to heal you for only a very very small amount of focus, and uh, it uh, heals you over time. So uh, you don't and you know, keep it in your left hand, and uh, you don't have to worry about having a shield in there because you shouldn't be blocking this guy's attacks anyway. <laughs> so you might as well have a cleric sacred chime in that slot, and um, you just cast it whenever it's not already on cooldown. I have a video on the cleric sacred chime if you don't know where to get it or how to use it or anything. Click that icon in the upper right hand corner. You can see my video on the cleric's sacred chime. Now, once you get here, I would suggest that you summon a phantom. Now, there is an NPC phantom available uh, if you don't have uh, an online connection. The NPC phantom, uh, his name is Swordmaster. He, the, uh, this guy appears even if you're not online. Uh, but you have to be in the ember state in order to actually summon him. Um... If you, if you haven't done so already, you need to consume an ember. Now, if you don't have any embers, you can actually get uh, get some pretty easily from an enemy called Puss of Man. It's the black gooey thing um, that hits for a lot of damage. But since you're a sorcerer, you can easily just stand on the ledge here and cheese it with uh, soul arrows until it's dead. And those things actually have a very high chance of dropping embers. And Titanite Shards. So you can go ahead and upgrade your Sorcerer's Catalyst while you're at it. Uh, you can farm for Titanite Shards. You can farm for Embers very easily. So as soon as the battle starts, I recommend that you immediately use the Cleric Sacred Chime. That way you can start immediately uh, recovering if you get hit. Now, when the battle first starts and you're far away from him, I want probably lead with heavy soul arrows maybe two or so heavy soul arrows but not too many heavy soul arrows because um, the casting time is way too long and eventually the boss will get tired of uh, moving slowly and he will come dashing toward you now the reason why you want to summon swordmaster is because swordmaster will actually help to distract the boss uh, while you um, shoot the boss with spells from afar and you need to pay attention to <clears throat> the boss's movements. Because if the boss ever starts to face in your direction, that means he has shifted his focus on you and you need to be prepared to dodge. You should use your heavy soul arrows when the boss is focused on Swordmaster, and you should switch to normal so uh, soul arrows if you think the boss might be coming for you. That way, uh, you can have time to dodge out of the way of his attacks. But just try to get as far away from the boss as possible. If he comes charging toward you, <coughs> um, roll off to the side <coughs> so that he runs past you and misses. If he starts to swing his hammer, roll away from him as far as you can. And uh, if you're, uh, you, uh, if you need to um, uh, do another. Sacred Chime, <clears throat> if, your, if your Chime uh, effect wears off, you can just cast it again when you get the chance, and it'll help keep your HP up. And as you can see in this battle, I, need to, I didn't need to drink any es regular Estus at all, because my Sacred Chime kept my HP uh, recovered. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, if you click that icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you can see some of my other Dark Souls 3 videos. I have a lot of other videos out there. Most of them uh, from the Sorcerer perspective, as all part of my Mage Guide. So, make sure you click that icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Make sure you please um, 
uh, uh, cl uh, click the like button before you forget. And also, make sure you click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.